Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower. When we last left off, we were evading uh, Scissorman, and that was going rather poorly. Also, <clears throat> we had no um, game audio for some reason in the last episode. We should have game audio here today. Uh, I have no idea. Yes. Well, I mean, it's showing up on my OBS, so uh, I have no idea why we didn't get game audio in the last episode. Um, I could apologize for that, and hopefully we have it now. Uh, as I said, everything on OBS on my end looked good, so we can only wait and see. Right, anyway, um, let's go downstairs. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm not 100% sure what we're supposed to be doing, but we do have the oil can. Now, this is, I mean, it just looks like a funnel to me, but um, I know we can use that here somewhere, and I think it's this door. Right, okay, it is. Um, now, remember I said that that oil can is really important, and you find it in the first scenario? If you don't get that oil can, you cannot complete this game and get an A ranking. I think it's like the first item that you can potentially pick up, and it is the most important. Right, so that's where we've been going wrong. It never occurred to me to try it on that door. There's only when... Ooh. It's only when I've been fiddling around that I thought about giving it a go. All right. Oh, we've got a coffin or something here. Chemicals and laboratory instruments. Mm. Yum. Oof. Scissor man? A mummified scissor man. The corpse looks very old. A key. You have the box key. Alright, well, we've got a, another key. But we still don't have... Oh, we've got a rope. I wonder why the rope and candle are together. Um, I don't know, Jennifer. I don't know. But there is something else we need in here. Oh, hello. Something's going on in that room. So we've got a box key, but we don't have a box. To use it on. Now, I thought. Oh fuck! Right. Okay. I th think that's the box we need to use. Let's rope up this door. I do remember that much. Now you can only rope this door up if the bats have already come through. Now let's try the box key on this door. Uh, on this box. <laughs> oh. Are you all right? Oh, Hello. Jennifer. Oh. Seems pretty chill about the whole thing. Oh, Jennifer. Um, any more? Are you all right? Yes, but my head hurts a little. Okay. That's all right Is then. There a way out of here? I don't know. <coughs> but I do know one thing. Yeah. If we don't kill Scissorman, he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Yeah, I guess so. He does seem to be following us around, like literally everywhere. Uh, right. Jennifer, there must be a way to destroy him in this mansion. And I must find it. Yeah, well, you weren't going to find an awful lot of much in that box, were you? Okay, can we... Is there a way out no, she's here? just going to repeat that over again. I don't know. So, <coughs> you know we've thing. still got the stair key, which is curious. If we don't kill Scissorman, hmm. he'll kill us whether we get out of here or not. Well, okay then. Um, I suppose we're going to go back upstairs. Yeah, don't don't sweat it, Jennifer. We've got this. There must be a way to yes, we've got this. 
and I must find it. Stop panicking. Right, let's go. I guess that's all we can do in here. Is it? Yeah, okay. We just have to get the top of the door. Um, right, so, I mean, we've still got the candle. We've got a copper book still, which I thought we could use upstairs, but I guess not. Unless we need to, like, find out about that before we can use it. Um, I'm not really sure, but we've used... Oh, we still have the oil can. I guess items don't necessarily get used up. Um, what exactly was through here? Right, this leads outside. That's the ghost room. Guess we could go back to the ghost room. And Nolan's here again. Oh, he's having a bit of a sleepy. Alright, uh, he's passed out. He's had enough excitement for today. Hmm. Right, so that leads us back to where we were. Where does this go? Oh, shit. You really pick your times, as a man. You really pick your times. Oh, you're such a dick. Come on, man. This ain't funny. Okay, so... I mean, we've got our health back, I think. Which is good. Yeah, looks like it. Um... I guess we're going in there. I didn't actually click on that door, but... Alright, Jennifer. That's cool. Can we escape him by going down here again? Um, I don't know if this actually works. No. No, it doesn't. So we can't use that as a little hidey hole anymore. That stinks. Ah, uh, okay. So he's still following us. I don't think there's really a lot we can do to get rid of him up here, which is unfortunate. So we just have to run around. Ah, so Nolan seems to disappear when Scissorman is after us. That's convenient, Nolan. Um, we want to go this way. Think. I mean, this will take us back downstairs, I think. Question mark? Uh, <laughs> man, this place is so confusing. I actually have a map that I can print out, but uh, this, is, this is not good. It's, it's not great. I might actually do that in the next, uh, before I record the next part. And I might have to manually fill things in and type what rooms what, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, this... No, don't hide under it. Use the sheet. Use the sheet, Jennifer. The sheet. Alright. Can we stab him with the pen? Stuff for the clothes. I can't hide in here. Alright, there's a pen there. I'm guessing we can't stab him with the pen, but... For science... Yeah, we can't. I don't know how sometimes you can fight him off. Uh, and sometimes you can't. I'm not really sure the science behind that. Um, luckily, it doesn't matter too much if you die. Because it just pretty much sends you straight back. But trying to find a reliable way of getting away from him is... Ugh, it's not easy. Try going in here. Oh no. Oh. It's. I, why would you clam up like that? Like, seriously. He's gonna stab you. You might as well kick him in the dick as hard as you can. Um, this leads outside into that little courtyard area, doesn't it? Memory serves. 
Just literally punt him right in the dick. That'll get rid of him. Yeah, he's right behind us. Um, Because we can go back to the kitchen. The only trouble is... We've used everything we can possibly use in the kitchen. So let's see if we can do the tried and tested method of running up here and using the bed sheet on him. Because I think that's like our only option really. Or the only thing that we can use that works every time. I mean it would work every time. But okay. There isn't actually a bed sheet to hide in anymore. So I guess we could only use that once or twice. He's going to stab us. Yeah. Alright. Um, I don't know where we can go to hide from him. To be honest. Uh, so he always knows where we are in there. We can't hide under that. There's nothing here we can use on him. Oh, bugger. Right, well he's there. Let's down here we've got a key actually stair key I don't know if we can use that key on the door probably not um, I mean there's nothing there we ain't going nowhere there chief oh hi don't walk into him Jennifer really you're just gonna walk into him when you could have just gone around the back of the stairs I know you're not very intelligent. I get that. I understand that. I've taken that on board. We're all fine. But, young lady, you could at least attempt to use a tiny bit of savvy. You know, most living creatures, not even going to say humans, you know. Uh, I suppose that's questionable. But most living creatures have some kind of survival instinct. No matter how weak that survival instinct is, we have it. Alright. Yeah, unfortunately that doesn't really do much. I think it just pisses him off. Ooh. I don't know if we fiddle with that. Uh, that just seems to piss him off a bit. Wait, ah, that, yeah, that's to the kitchen, but... I think that's to the kitchen. We've used everything in here, though, haven't we? He is a good lad. He does slow down for us. No, this isn't the bloody kitchen. We've somehow gone back to that corridor that we always seem to find ourselves in. There has to be some defense we can use against him. There has to be something left in this bloody... Oh. Yes, that's it. Smack the cunt over the head and get out of here. Now, I'm guessing that we've used that item up now. And we can't actually use it again. That's a problem. Because it took a while to actually find that. And now it's gone. Um, shit. Oh, what do we have? Don't have a lot, do we? I mean, I don't think we can use that stair key on this. There's no way to open it. Well, there's a big padlock there, Jennifer. So, there has to be some way of opening it. Hmm. Right, one second, guys. I'm going to have a little think and work out what the fuck we're meant to be doing next. Okay, right. We should be back now after I've spent about 700,000 years playing with my printer to find out that apparently the black ink has run out, or at least very low. However, I have managed to print out the map. So, I th let's try going back into the library. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so through here. It's so good to have a map, I can tell you that much. It's interesting, actually. When you look at... Here we go. When you look... How fucking convoluted this thing is. Books of alchemy. There are many different... Uh -huh. I'm, there's got to be something here. A footstool. Okay. Um... Yeah, when you look at how convoluted the map is, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, see, look. There's this box here. There's one book missing. We know that. But, ah, there we go. There it is. A box is on the bookshelf. I can't reach it. Well, use the footstool, Jennifer. Hopefully they didn't make too much noise. So what does that give us? An old lambskin parchment. The Barrows family genealogy. What is this mark? Somebody has been marked in red. The 13th generation Barrows. Quinton Barrows. It says traitor. You now have genealogy. Okay. There's one book missing. Yeah. All right. I don't know why we can't put the copper book in the hole, but there we go. I'm guessing we need to take this book to someone. Maybe the professor. Not this book. Uh, the genealogy. Hopefully, somebody um, should know something about that, surely. We're rapidly running out of places to um, hide from Mr. Dickhead. That's okay. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. And it will come. It will probably come very soon. Hopefully, he's just out here having a bit of a sleep. Hopefully, he'll be back. Hmm. Now, we can examine this waterfall. Covered with moss, but the water's very clean. No, he's not here. Okay, so let's try and think about what we have. We have a book, which seems really obvious that it needs to be placed back on the shelf. But we can't do that yet. Um, what else do we have? Uh... uh Oh, man, I don't know. So there's nothing there. Covered in moss. Uh, so we've got an empty room, which is six. Escapes is a man here. Okay, so can we, like, repeatedly use that? I'm not sure. Um, all right. So there was the big fireplace upstairs. Or somewhere. Where, hang on. In one of the studies, there was a fireplace. I know there's a fireplace that we can go through. Um, is it? Was there a fireplace through there or was it through there? Uh, does it say on my map where there's a fireplace? Hmm. Master bedroom, no. No. Okay. Huh. So it doesn't mention anywhere here um, where there's a fireplace on the map. Okay. That's fun. So. Oh, hello. What? It smells like something's burning. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. Uh, I thought we had to go through. Okay. Oh, no. Tim. I don't know if I've ever seen Tim burning before. Oh, dear. 
Camera was on the floor. It's a possession of Tim's. He was using it. Uh, Tim? Have you got anything for me? A luxurious a passage to the chapel. So... Can we not go to the chapel? The front is all scratched up. So can we move it? Can we put a book in there? Well... Not quite sure what happened to Tim. I guess they just literally set his face on fire, which is pretty bloody random if you ask me. Um, okay. So, what? What's that? Matches on the floor. You now have the matches. Okay. Interesting. Not sure what we can use matches for. Cosmetic box. Looks very old. So we've got matches. We've got a candle. What else do we have? We've got the genealogy, door spell, copper book, stair key, candle, oil can. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Um, so I'm going to break these up into smaller episodes again, just so I have enough time to get enough for the rest of the week. And when we come back, uh, I would have either wa wandered around for 600 years or probably just look it up, to be honest, and find out where we're going next. I don't remember so many of these people dying. Maybe we're not going to get the A rank. Maybe we're going to get something else. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're going to find out who's going to survive. But so far, it doesn't look like anybody. I don't know if you can save everybody. Or, if, you know, there's there's quite a lot I've forgotten about this game, to be honest. Um, it would be cool if you could save everybody. But also, it's kind of fun seeing all these people dying. Um, I know we're definitely getting some differences already, which is cool. But, uh, yeah, hey, who knows? We're, we're just going to keep going. We're going to keep poking this hornet's nest and see what happens. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.